Congressman Adam Schiff, the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, joining me now from the West Coast. Congressman, thank you very much. First of Thanks, all, Andrea. Uh, the subpoenas. <laughs> now, the House, your committee, uh, uh, jointly announced with the Republican acting chair or the chair who stepped in for Devin Nunes after he recused himself under pressure from the Russia investigation, you announced that you were investigating, that you were rather subpoenaing Michael Cohn, his law firm, as well as Michael Flynn, the former national security advisor in his firm. So four subpoenas in all. Then when did you first learn that there were three more subpoenas that had been issued by the chair, uh, by Devin Nunes, apparently, on his own? Well, there are two issues here. Uh, the first is Mr. Conaway and I uh, have agreed that when we ask people to voluntarily cooperate and they don't, the strong presumption is we'll subpoena them. Uh, and Mr. Flynn and Mr. Cohen were not too willing to cooperate, so we agreed uh, to the approval of these subpoenas. And now, the committee rules provide that the chair has to sign the subpoenas unless that authority is delegated to someone else. That authority should have been delegated to Mike Conaway in consultation with myself. That hasn't happened yet, and I think that's a violation of the recusal uh, by the chairman. Uh, much in the same way I thought the attorney general's recusal uh, should have covered uh, whether he participated at all in the firing of the person leading the FBI investigation. So I think in both cases, commitments to recuse themselves have not been fully honored. I hope that'll change. But the second issue involves uh, three other subpoenas that went out without consultation with the minority. Uh, I only learned about this uh, late the night uh, before, uh, and that's a problem. And these were sent out uh, unilaterally by the chairman, uh, and I think they're, you know, part of the White House desire to shift attention away from the Russia probe and onto the issue of unmasking. Um, but Mr. Conaway are determined not to lose our focus on the Russia investigation. Uh, and so we plod on, keeping our eyes on what has to be done and unwilling to let this other stuff uh, distract us. Well, he has the legal right to issue the subpoenas unilaterally, does he not? Or do you believe that his recusal actually in some way would restrict him? He claims that, or he hasn't said this, but clearly they're trying to say that the unmasking issue is a separate issue from the Russia investigation from which he recused himself. Well, it certainly doesn't appear separate to the president. Uh, and I think ultimately the question is for the Speaker of the House. Uh, he has only designated one committee to be doing this investigation. Uh, and is this conduct that the Speaker approves of? It's ultimately his call. Uh, my responsibility is uh, to work with Mr. Conaway and make sure uh, that the Russia investigation gets done and it gets done right. Uh, Mike is committed to that and so am I. Uh, so that's what we're keeping our focus on. Uh, but if the Speaker wants to allow this kind of thing to go on, that's really uh, up to him. And, uh, and I think he'll ultimately be held accountable for how this is conducted. Why would a subpoena be necessary uh, if you all have oversight over the NSA and FBI counterintelligence investigations uh, and the CIA, certainly as the Intelligence Committee, why can't a request be made to those agencies for any classified reports that could involve legitimate or improper unmasking, whatever the case may be? Well, indeed, I don't think they are necessary. I think the agencies are cooperating with us. Uh, I don't think they've demonstrated any intent to withhold information. So, uh, you know, apart from, uh, I would imagine, the publicity surrounding the issuance of subpoenas, I don't really see the point. Uh, I think the intelligence committee's uh, community and agencies are working in good faith with us uh, as part of our ordinary oversight of issues of minimization. Uh, so I don't think they were necessary. But again, we weren't consulted if the majority or the chair felt there was